Hi guys, welcome back. Ryan here once again. Uh, so today I want to talk about this whole parts shortage deal. Um, seems like it's getting worse. I think it is going to get worse before it gets better. So I mean, a lot of you are probably suffering from, you know, uh, I, I just had a customer that uh, that I do some work for uh, who called me for a water pump, you know, one of the, the variable speed water pumps for a uh, Detroit DD15, DD13. Um, I've got a lot of dealers in my area up here, like in between Akron, Canton, Youngstown, Cleveland area, and so on. I mean, I probably got f five or six Freightliner dealers within a 45 minute radius. I mean, I've got three or three Kenworth dealers, a couple Peterbilt dealers, uh, Volvo. I think I got three, two or three Volvo dealers. So uh, <clears throat> I'm kind of right in the middle of a good area to find parts for the most part, uh, plus all the other aftermarket providers and all that out there. Uh, so I, I usually don't have much trouble finding parts. So I actually had a customer who called me for a water pump and he couldn't find one anywhere. I started calling around um, to my contacts and everybody's like, yeah, that thing's on national back order. And uh, also finally I called W.W. W. Williams down here in Youngstown Hubbard area. And uh, the parts guy told me, hey, there's, we don't have any and you're gonna have a hard time getting one, but you might wanna call our Columbia, South Carolina store. Uh, so I called them and they actually had it and uh, I ordered it got it You know, I bought it right then and there on the phone with a credit card and had them they sent it up to me then I sent it down to him and uh, And ultimately they found out that wasn't the problem. So I ended up back with it. I'm like, okay, it's a good customer I mean anybody else uh, I probably have been like, okay, you own it, you know um, type of thing But uh, been a good customer. So I, I took it back and thought I was gonna be stuck with it I actually put it on eBay and uh got rid of it in like less than 12 hours. I actually had a gentleman drive all the way up here in Northeast Ohio. He drove all the way up here from Georgia to pick this thing up for his truck. So, um, because same issue, nobody had one in the area down there. So uh, I'm also seeing this problem. I mean, um, I just did a video on the, uh, the one box uh, Freightliner uh, emissions system, DPF SCR. And um, if you watch that, I just want to make a correction. I know, uh, I probably we should have edited the video or something after that but um, just kind of get a little off topic here but if you did watch that video I did mention something about uh, coolant lines on the def injector or the doser module um, that uh, the Freightliners they don't have coolant lines on there so uh, the the Cummins and the Volvos do but um, so I misspoke on that uh, early morning video type of thing so anyways back to topic um, so there's one boxes uh, they're like four months out right now for a whole box which in Typically, what I say, you don't need to replace the whole box anyways, but Freightliner, they don't want you to clean the DOCs or something, so they say you got to buy a whole new box for seven grand or nine grand now if you can find one, somebody on eBay or used ones or whatever. It's just crazy. So that's been an issue. There's a lot of sensor issues out there, getting sensors, and I'm actually starting to see at dealers to wear like brake shoes, um, certain model, certain uh, part numbers of brake shoes, like they don't have them on the shelves for some reason. It was like before they had pallets of these things, you know, it wasn't an issue. Now, like I said, it's coming down to brake shoes and stuff like that now. So, uh, and we, you all know about the death level sensor thing for PACAR as well. So, um, but I guess they, they got to work around for that for the time being until they get these things in. Um, but uh, I only think it's going to get worse, guys. But um, I'm pretty good at uh, finding parts. I mean, the main thing is uh, don't take no for an answer. I mean, yeah, I mean, you might have to buy something off eBay or something like that, but, you know, if you got to pay double for something because people are price gouging, um, you know, it's better than sitting for a month, you know, not making any money. So, you know, look online, um, call other dealers. I mean, start calling out of your, out of your area. I mean, um, like I said, if, you're, if you need something, I mean, somebody out there might have it sitting on a shelf. I mean, actually, I, I did a, a death level sensor for a gentleman uh, a while back, and... Um, he actually found two, uh, they, uh, there was a dealer up in Massachusetts that actually had two of them and they overnighted me one to put in his truck. So, so uh, it's just a matter of calling around and being persistent and uh, just not giving up. But um, like I said, just pick, start looking everywhere, you know, uh, other states, other cities for other dealers, um, aftermarket options. Uh, there are some of those out there as well for some things. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a mess right now. So. Um, I like kind of looking for parts and stuff too. So I mean, that's we're kind of we're going to be doing some revamping on our website and using to kind of offer like a part sourcing type of thing when I have time. So um, and we'll probably discuss more 
commission or whatever on that. So I mean, that'll all be available. Not today, but you know, down the road here, maybe a couple of days or a week or so, I'll get the website updated because I had some new pages to add and stuff to that. Um, so if we can help you out, um, that's an option as well. All right, guys, and and the other thing with um, with parts, and this is kind of uh, kind of related. I mean, not a part shortage issues. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to find a good parts person these days. I mean, I don't know. You got people. Some people coming like out of the automotive side, I work at autos or something, and they're coming over more, you know, into the heavy side, and, and they don't really know everything. Uh, I just had a customer here who um, needed thermo. He he had a cat C15 uh, and wanted thermostats put in it. He went to a cat dealer, and they just gave him two thermostats and two O-rings, which I have no idea what the O-rings are for, but. A good parts guy is going to know, okay, you're getting two thermostats. Obviously, you got to take thermostat housing off, and there's two gaskets in there. You know, that you would think that they would, a good parts salesman would be like, hey, you, need, you want these two gaskets as well. You need them. But um, like I said, this guy, he, he went and got these parts. Obviously, the parts guy didn't, wasn't very knowledgeable or whatever and didn't give him everything he needed. So then I got to run, you know, I charge for parts pickup and all that. So then I had to run to Cat and Kenworth twice to get more things for this, uh, for this job. So, I mean, um, really, I like to do my own parts research. I'd rather just look at a parts book, parts manual, or a web page or whatever, like uh, Cummins. I mean, you can get on Cummins parts and you can look everything up yourself and say, okay, I need this, this, and this, and go in and get it all at once. Uh, because, like I said, you might start a job, you might get into something, and you might be missing a gasket or a seal or, or whatever, some other little mundane part, and, um, and you might have to order it, and now your truck's taken apart. You got the truck torn down, and, and now you're down for a week or something because the parts guy or you didn't know everything you needed for that job. So um, that's just another little tip there from my experience is, uh, like I said, I like to do my own parts research if I can. I'd rather look at a parts catalog or website or whatever, and uh, then that way I can see I need this, this, and this. And um, I mean, I had I did a front uh, cover, gear housing cover gasket for on a Cummins IS615 a while back, and uh, I kept I didn't have the part number, and I kept calling Cummins, and and I called Kenworth, and they kept saying, "Oh, this is part number," and I was like, "Okay, I need the gasket that goes from the block to the housing, the gear housing," and I had two different parts people sell me their own gasket. You know, when it when when I actually went in, looked at Cummins on their website, found, "Okay, I need this gasket." Caught him with a part number and got it. So myself. So uh, well, I tell me what, you're a lot of times you're just better off to do things yourself. So, but anyways, guys, uh, like I said, stay. Uh, we said we're gonna get our website updated and have a few other things on there now. A couple other offerings uh, that we're we're starting up. So um, we'll uh, probably post an announcement or something once we do get all that updated as well. So if you're interested. Um, pretty much it. Our, our one box job went pretty well as far as I I know. If you watch that again. Um, I think we regen at that, and, I, and they said five, Freightliner had told this guy that his box was bad, and we just did once we finished it, we were like at 90, 99. I think I was hitting like 92% efficiency. So, so anyways, uh, that's off the topic, but uh, uh, I guess that's pretty much it for today, guys. I mean, like I said, if you're in that situation, just uh, be persistent and don't take no for an answer. And and if um, there's something you're looking for, maybe we can help you out. Uh, give us a call as well. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Hit the bell for the updates and uh, like the video. So again, thanks for all the support and we'll see you next time.